It is the 9th of the 11th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Tasmanian twister or tornado rotating funnel spout seen in Guernsey. Some, islands are, some islanders frantically searched for their cameras after a funnel cloud was seen on the west of Guernsey yesterday. And that's not a common thing to see tornadoes in Tasmania. Earthquake on the east coast travel farther and cause more damage due to geologic structure and rock properties. Uh, new studies reporting, others saying even the smaller quakes can do more damage especially with all those nuclear reactors up and down the east coast of the United States. At least 52 dead in 7.4 Guatemalan earthquake. Uh, and hundreds remain missing after a powerful earthquake struck off the Pacific coast of Guatemala, where tsunami warnings has now been issued. About 125,000 people were without power as a result of the earthquake. Over 500 pigeons dropped dead in uh, Bahar village in India. Uh, over the last four days, causing residents and some of them uh, pigeon keepers to fear that something was amiss. Definitely. Winter storm Brutus, you remember they're naming the big winter storms now. Threatened snow, severe weather for U.S. West and Midwest. We've got another big storm front rolling through. Um, it's just normal winter stuff. They're naming the storms now. USGS uh, earthquake magnitude 6.3 earthquake off of Port Hardy, Canada. Uh, that area continues to be active. Cold snap devastates New Zealand vineyard. That's more uh, crop loss, property damage, that kind of thing with the crazy weather. Uh, some central Otago vineyards have lost as much as 50% of their crop after a devastating frost hit the region over the weekend. New storms bear down on sad, Sandy's battered New York and New Jersey. Uh, I got some really crazy stories coming out of Long Island. Uh, what Pollock is uh, his channel is definitely, he's there posting, uh, he's calling it the Dominican Republic slash Haiti where there is power and where there is not power on Long Island kind of thing. A lot of crazy things going on in New England and uh, we don't seem to get, see a lot of mainstream news coverage from that. Record-breaking blizzard freezes Beijing before Congress. A blizzard swept through northeastern China on November 4, shutting down transportation in Beijing just before the opening of the 18th Party Congress. Yay, more puppets. Uh, there's the Guatemala story. Over to the RSOE. Of course, we got the Guatemalan earthquake. Uh, we've got a nuclear event in South Korea. Uh, ENE News has picked up on this story as well as apparently... Uh, this was shut down, the reactor was tripped a few days ago when the inspectors came in to find out what was going on. Um, they found some micro fractures inside the tubes that pushed the nuclear fuel up into the reactor kind of thing. Um, so come to find out a lot of these parts don't have, they had a forged safety certificates and uh, I will attach a link to that story. Definitely some strange things. Now they got to relook at all 23 nuclear reactors in South Korea. Uh, because of this corruption. Hailstorms in South Africa, uh, pretty severe crop damage, that kind of thing. United Kingdom, uh, we got flash floodings coming out of uh, Crumbia and uh, Crosscomb. Uh, power outage in A Argentina, Buenos Aires, apparently over 10,000 people went dark for over 24 hours. Um, they're saying this might be an act of sabotage and if they catch you, did it. There will be criminal pro prosecution, that kind of thing. Of course, a tornado in uh, Tasmania. Heat wave in Argentina. Flash flooding, pretty severe in Indonesia. And uh, the, the diesel oil spill in the port of Los Angeles, uh, Port Angeles Harbor in the Los An or, uh, state of Washington, Port Angeles, uh, was not as severe as they thought it was. Um, so it wasn't like 800,000 gallons, it was more like 80 or 90, uh, but they've cleaned up that mess according to reports. 
over to um, the nuclear stuff, uh, any news, of course, uh, AFP cracks found in South Korean nuclear reactor. Uh, this story goes much, much more deeper. Again, they found um, um, counterfeited safety work, paperwork for these components in the South Korean reactors, and now they have to check out all all the reactors in South Korea because it's just a big scandal going on right now. State representatives, sinkhole disaster could go on for many, many years. We need to understand what happened if these things goes any further. And uh, we're just now getting wrapped up on Louisiana. Uh, now seven quakes at magnitude four point and above in Fukushima since yesterday. Uh, we've been going on and on. Uh, Japan is a very seismically active uh, area. It is slowly sliding into the sea. Intense magnitude 5.5 quake hits Fukushima after shocks follow an exact location minutes later. Top official warns sinkhole could go, on, go a lot further. Potential is substantial. A lot of information has yet to come out. Yeah, that's an understatement. CNN, debris from near Fukushima nuclear plant is being ground up and then buried in other J parts of Japan. Video. And of course, I've been going on and on about how they are burning the waste in open incinerators and burying that ash in like places like Tokyo Harbor and then they're wondering why the cesium levels are going through the roof there. Astonishing thyroid abnormalities found in Fukushima kids declared okay by government. Officials ordered doctors to stop examining patients. Uh, methane much closer to community than previously detected near giant sinkhole. Pressure now just below the surface. Officials want to test every structure built on ground. The insanity continues. It continues. And, uh... Sheriff, giant Louisiana sinkhole may expand beyond control. Professor, it could be a significant event. And of course, Ian e goes on and on and on and on. I'm going to leave you tonight with a story from uh, Fukushima Diary, a daily news. Mutation. Homegrown sweet potato grew gigantic in uh, Kanagawa. Sweet potato, sweet potato was found growing gigantic on November 5th, 2012. It was homegrown uh, in Chingaski, C-H-I-G-A-S-A-K-I city. It weighed 5 grams, kilograms, 33 centimeters by 57 centimeters in girth. This thing is huge. It will be cooked to be snacked and given to the children. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.